the crazy art collection of Queen Elizabeth. The worth of the art collections of Queen Elizabeth is more than 10 billion pounds. Do you know who owns this now? And do you have any guesses about the unique pieces in her collection? Well, welcome to Art & Beyond. Today we are going to unlock the crazy art collection of Queen Elizabeth. The private art collection, which is the largest one in the world, is owned by the British royal family. The collection is now owned by King Charles III and the Royal Collection Trust oversees it. The Royal Collection Trust is one of the five departments of the Royal Household, which is established after the fire at Windsor Castle in 1993. Its purpose is to maintain and conserve the Royal Collection. The Queen has no personal ownership over the Royal Collection, but it is held by her in trust as sovereign for successors and her nation. The unique pieces of the collection consist of 7,000 paintings, 5 million prints, 30,000 watercolors and drawings, and about 4.5 million photographs, and it also includes weapons, jewelries, sculptors, plants, books, textiles, musical instruments, clocks, furnitures, ceramics, and so on. These works are accessible to the public through 13 residencies that are open to visitors such as Windsor Castle, Buckingham Palace, Hampton Court and the Tower of London. The famous paintings in the Royal Collection include the work of artists like Leonardo da Vinci, Raphael, Michelangelo, Vermeer and many others, so let's talk about some of the arts in her collection. Crucifixion and Other Scenes This is by far the oldest one in the Royal Collection. It is an altarpiece with a double side, done by Ducio di Buoninsegna, an Italian artist for the Siena Cathedral in 1311. The Calling of Saint Peter and Andrew This is a painting by Caravaggio, an Italian Baroque master. Its theme is about the moment calling Simon and Andrew to be the disciples of Jesus Christ. It was drawn between 1603 and 1606. In 1637, Charles I purchased this. It is now on display in Hampton Court Palace. For about 400 years, it was tucked in the storage room and was then restored in 2006. A Lady at the Virginal with a Gentleman This painting is by Master of Light Johannes Vermeer, a Dutch artist. Virginal is a keyboard, a musical instrument that was played by young ladies and private tutors taught them how to play. In this painting, Vermeer used ultramarine in a large amount, which was one of the most expensive pigments in the 17th century. This painting reached the Royal Collection in 1762. They are now displaced at the Buckingham Palace. Triumphs of Caesar Andrea Mantegna, an Italian Renaissance artist, painted The Triumphs of Caesar. It is a series of nine paintings created between 1484 and 1492. Its theme is the celebration of Julius Caesar's victory against the Gauls. In 1629, Charles I brought it in from the Gonzaga family and it is now placed at the Hampton Court Palace. We're talking about Queen Elizabeth, right? Well, have you ever heard about the back colonies that owned by Queen Elizabeth? Balmoral, one of the oldest castles of the Queen, is a private and quiet place for bats. It is said that since 1926, she used to spend three months every year killing boredom by catching bats using a butterfly net. You're not bored yet, right? Well, if it's a yes, do subscribe to the channel to get rid of that boredom, and if it's a no, do subscribe to the channel for more exciting information. Next are the anatomical drawings of Leonardo da Vinci. Over 600 works by Leonardo da Vinci are owned by the Royal Collection. Queen Victoria took the anatomical drawings which were set as an album by Charles II and she hung them as individual drawings. The Royal Collection includes not only the anatomical studies of da Vinci, but also his other works like The Drapery of a Kneeling Figure, A Design for an Equestrian Monument, A Scene in an Arsenal, Sketches for the Last Supper, and so, so many more. The Raphael Cartoons, The Miraculous Draught of Fishes Raphael is one of the greatest artists in the Renaissance period. This painting depicts one of the situations in the Bible that finally ended in a miraculous catching of fish. He did this work for Sistine Chapel, commissioned by Pope Leo X. In 1623, King Charles purchased this tapestry, and it is now displayed at Victoria and Albert Museum in London. The Self-Portrait 
1623, Peter Paul Rubens sent his signed and dated self-portrait to show his resemblance to Charles, Prince of Wales, and this famous portrait of him is still in the royal collection. The Shipbuilder and His Wife Rembrandt painted The Shipbuilder and His Wife in 1633. The scenario of this painting is Rick Shen, a shipbuilder holding a pair of compasses, drawing designs of ships, and his wife, Great Jans Rick Shen, entering the room with a written note to give to her husband. Since 1811, this painting has been in the royal collection. Charles in three positions. This is an oil painting by Sir Anthony van Dyck, a Flemish artist. This painting is also known as the Triple Portrait Charles I. This shows three viewpoints of the king. To create a marble bust of Charles I, the painting was then sent to Rome in 1636 and used as a reference by the Italian sculptor Gian Lorenzo Bernini. Unfortunately, in January of 1698, the sculpture was destroyed by fire in Whitehall Palace. The painting now hangs on the walls of Windsor Castle in the Queen's Drawing Room. A Woman at Her Toilet a Woman at Her Toilet was painted by Jean Steen, a Dutch Golden Age painter in 1663. The painting of a prostitute woman sitting in the toilet is depicted in this painting. In 1821, King George VI acquired this painting and it is now displayed at Buckingham Palace. We only looked for a few of the millions of artworks from the Queen's collection. This is not just a collection of some paintings that tell us history. Beyond that, it shows the world of knowledge and art that existed without updated technologies. Comment below your favorite among the 10 unique and crazy paintings that we've mentioned. And don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you very much for coming along with this video. It was a pleasure having you here today, and I hope to see you in the next video.